Sandy, Utah, Alta High School. Of course, Nathan Tomasello, the redshirt senior out of Parma, Ohio, Cuyahoga Valley Christian Academy. Right there, Coon getting on a That's little a shot man. right there, but fought off pretty well. I look for Tomasello to really push the pace of this match, stuff the head. Seen it that uh, Coon has done a nice job at this point, Start but, but he's got a, a little go behind right there. Nice work there by Tomasello getting an early takedown. He wants to do this on the feet. Still Already, ready. you see the size difference Good, between Coon and Schnupp, the, the, yeah, the no 25 question, pounder. Tanner. Good read. Of course, starting at 125 situation here for Ohio State, they need bonus points at 25 and 33. Uh, you know, the 33 pounder is not necessarily a, a, a big bonus point guy, Shane, but, but they really have to get him here because Tomasello, by pushing the pace of the match here with, with, with Coon, even though he's given up a reversal right there, he needs to go ahead and try to get a quick escape. But now all of a sudden you've let this crowd get into it. And we've seen a nice set of boots get applied there on the right side. Tomasello, it's a time hog. From a strategic standpoint, you just hit it. One, two, points, and out of bounds. Wow. So all of a sudden your point, Jim, about the time hog, He's big, and now Coon out in front, 5-3. Well, he, this is his first time out here. He hasn't had a lot of goes. Been in this Penn State wrestling room, locked away. He's come out here and got right after it. And you look at this Penn State crowd. The last time that Ohio State came here to Rec Hall, that was the day that Rutherford beat Steber. I mean, the yeah. crowd was a huge factor. Another one that stands out was when Jordan Conway came back and beat Tyler Graff. This crowd is as loud as any place in the country. And it's, uh, what an answer by Kuhn, though, all right? Getting, take a look at this scramble here by Tomasello. He's getting around all the way behind, but he's able to cut that arm through and falls back. Catches Tomasello in a bad way. Gets the takedown there, and then right here as he comes back, gets the escape, and that's clearly two. Already the size playing a factor, too, from the standpoint. Yeah, every little mat return will be a... Big factor in this match. Big factor in the meet. Great crowd, educated. They know exactly what their guys need to do. Quick escape. Again, this is not over as far as Tomasello, the heavily favored wrestler here, getting the major, okay? He just needs to worry about pace, not score. Right in for the two more points, and now Tomasello with the escape and takedown goes out in front, six to five. We're only a minute and a half into the first period, already 11 points scored. And, Fireworks! And it's 80 degrees in here, guys. I mean, it, 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 this is, uh, I remember bringing teams in here. I was always, there must be a pool next door or something like that. The humidity is high, it's just tough environment. Well, I'll tell you, the nice ice work. Oh, yeah. Again. And he goes right into that boot on the right-hand side. That's, a, like I said, a time hog here for him. He can stay in the top position. Cutting down some of Tomasello's riding time. It's kind of like what uh, Butch Cassidy said to the Sundance Kid. Who is that guy? Well, and this is where Tomasello's had a little problem in the bottom position here. Already given up 24, 25 seconds of riding time so far. You know, really big if he can, who can stay in the top position. And he's got 6,500 friends. We're hoping he does it. Battles within the battle. Here's one right here. 26 seconds, of course. If you're Kuhn, you got to be greedy. This changes everything if he finishes on top. What Tomasello needs to do here tactically is maybe switch away from that leg that's coming, and he's been able to get that right leg in. And, and really just kind of an intentional release there by Kuhn. Surprising. Because Tomasello can score. Easily under 10 seconds. A big 15 seconds left in the first period. And this is where Tomasello has done pretty well. Instead of stuffing the head and going around, he's going to go ahead and... Just the range of Kuhn has been enough just to keep him away. Like we always talk about, if you're going to be a college wrestler, you can't let guys go around behind you. 15 points scored in the first period, 8-7. to seven. Carson Kuhn for Penn State, first time in a Penn State uniform. The graduate student, transfer out of Boise State, two-time Pac-12 champion. 
in the lineup for the Nittany Lions for the first time and already making a difference. And I think Thomas Sella wanted to go neutral. He first indicated neutral, then looked into his corner, and Tom Ryan said, no, you're going down. Well, he's got to go, go down, and particularly with the intentional, almost intentional release he was able to get early. 40 seconds of riding time, trying to keep that bottom set of legs out. As the leg is coming in on the right-hand side, see how he brings his knee up. Good turn in by Tomasello. One point tying it all up, eight to eight. The escape for Tomasello. Just starting the second period. We're just getting underway at Rec Hall. Number one versus number two, Penn State and Ohio State. And we'll see if, if Kuhn can weather the storm. Right there, working the head pretty hard. Doing a nice job of keeping his right arm down and catching him with that underhook, but Tomasello works to a single leg. This isn't his preferred shot, but I think he can get to the far side there. He gets the two. That was a really nice job by Tomasello to drop back into the leg. Yeah. And uh, execution well done by Tomasello. Out front, 10-8 to eight with that takedown. And now you see the weariness a little bit on Kuhn here, planting his forehead on the mat. You know, they know they've got him wobbling here a little bit, and so do you want to put him back on the feet? you got plenty of time to go ahead and take him down. But he's working for that wrist tilt. Right there, he's got it. Well, he can bring him back. He's elevating that bottom leg. He's got to count. Pace is more important than score. Got the four-point count. Four-point near fall. Now he's up. 14 to 8. And the Ohio State coaching staff, Jay Jagger, is talking about keeping him down and also looking for another one. He's broke the grip. Really critical for the team points here for Thomas Ello to make something of this lead. Expand it if he can. Drops in on that single leg. Elbow deep. Drives him off the mat. Tell you what, good work by Tomasello bringing himself back into this match physically, not letting the elements and the crowd. It's the, the nice points that Kuhn was able to put up on the board affect his pace. Seven unanswered points in that second period for Tomasello. Now up front, 14 to eight. Just look at this weight class in the Big Ten, and now you throw Kuhn into the mix. Saw Spencer Lee last night, big win for the young Hawkeye. 125 is going to be fireworks in East Lansing at the Big Ten Championships. Lee with that tech fall over last year's national finalist, Ethan Lezak, very impressive. Yeah. And this is where Kuhn really has to battle his own set of emotions here about, you know, how tired he is out there. He's actually probably physically feeling it. Tough match to come out though. Now there's the preferred shot of Tomasello with that high crotch to the right side. Here's Jay, right. yeah, Jay Jaggers yelling to cut him, get the major, secure the major. Your hands up. Spin, and just the range that was there before early in the match is not there. Head goes down, and just a lot of this is just not being in this environment there for the Lion, you know, coming out and wrestling somebody that's quality of Tomasello and in the condition he's in is really a tough ass. Men looking to improve here. Thomas Ellis showing you why he's been at the top of the podium. Absolutely. All American national champion as a freshman. Third the last two years. Was last year was at 133. He's back at 125. He's got it locked up, guys. He's got that far wing locked up with the right arm. He's going to go over with the, the head that's down. And Kuhn gets his head up off the bat. Now he's doing a little bit more battling. Escape. But the still the majors in place. Solid mat return. And more points. A lot of poise from Tomasello. Yeah. Oh. You know, you go out there and, and give up points like that, particularly the headlock and, and come back to the center of the mat and the crowd's deafening and you come back out there and do what you know how to do. Really broke the match open in the top position. Very impressive. Both wrestlers, Kuhn comes out, gets a crowd on their feet, but Tomasello comes back, outscoring Kuhn 13 to three since being behind eight to seven at the end of the first period. That's why he'll be in the hunt for another national title. And you think about it, he's a few seconds away from going for his fourth. You know, that great point because he, he really was. I mean, take a look at the overtime match where he got pinned in the national uh, semifinals. Now he's coming back through. He's got to be careful not to give up 
The fall point there, quick escape. Good One comeback eight. by Tomasello. Yeah, with a major decision. Four points on the board for Nathan Tomasello. 21 to 12. Ohio State leads 4-0 after 125.